this old job is always causing stress. All I ever do is work, I don't get no rest. I know Thursday night is on the way. Down in trouble, what might as well be. Pour me a drunk donkey, I be a. Let that magic mango chase my blues away. I know that I'll be among my friends. The mic's where the page goes live again. There we go. Oh my God. Drunk donkey. <laughs> oh, see, when you when you don't do it for three days, you forget to hit a button. See, you, you, I'm like a well-oiled machine when it's in the tropics. And, every, you know, we do this every day and it's like everything works. Um, <laughs> so, I said hi to everybody. I said hi to every single one of you. I promise. But now I got audio. My little bar tells me I got audio. So, So, now you can hear me. You just saw my lips moving. Isn't there a song like that? Your lips are moving? Buddies of mine, mine told me before, my buddy Paul Shaw, he goes, you know how you can tell when I'm lying? When my lips are moving. <laughs> so, Jason, what's up? Happy, happy, happy Halloween. All right, so, hey, we're going to talk tropics. We're going to talk a little bit about weather. There's more weather to talk about than tropics. Um, this is the last day of October, October 31st. Happy Halloween. Um, you're not crazy. What's up, Don? That's right, Lou. We got audio. You can hear me. Oh my God, there, there is, there is a Christmas miracle. <laughs> so anyway, I was just saying, hey to everybody, and uh, letting everybody know. Uh, took a few days off and and uh, said some highs. So 
Appreciate that. So yeah, this is it. This is the end of October. Tomorrow's November first. So we got a little tropics to talk about. A um, little bit of that. Got a little Halloween fun stuff. Here's my. Uh, I posted this earlier. This is my favorite Halloween costume of all time. This is Jim Cantori as a kid. <laughs> you gotta love it. You got the napkin on the knee. You got the tie. You got the oh, umbrella. You got the hair. Kind of look like me. The last the last time I was out on Dunedin Causeway, I had hurricane hair. So anyway, all right, so we're going to talk weather. Hey, a couple things. Quick thanks, uh, ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. Um, they've been with me all season on these Facebook Lives, and uh, hopefully they, they come back next year and uh, do the same thing. So uh, as you're shopping for the holidays and Thanksgiving, and make sure you think of ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. Um, last night I did a podcast. Um, uh, podcast that uh was pretty cool it was almost an hour long with tim down in fort myers so i'm gonna i'm gonna share that hopefully it goes live today so you can listen to a little more um a little more mike <laughs> um so that that was cool i did that last night but the uh the tropics let's talk about the tropics is in weather today today is uh I, I turned the volume up there dawn what's up i'm reading the uh comments howard what's up howard Jim is a doll. Yeah, we, hey, what's up, Whitney? Yep, took a few days off. Feel guilty. <laughs> I think we went, went live every every single day this hurricane season. Um, and I, I'll definitely keep talking live. So we got a couple things coming up too, by the way. Uh, local people, local people, uh, we're going to be doing another uh, our, our second take of Drunk Donkey Nation Live will be uh, Sunday this week because of Halloween. So Phil and I. My sidekick, Phil. Um, ah, what's up, Michelle? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna I'm make me a note. I'm gonna, you know what? That's funny. Candy corn challenge. I'm gonna get on it. I'm gonna make my wife do it. In fact, I'm gonna text her about it. There you go. <laughs> So yeah, we're doing our Trouble Waters uh, Drunk Donkey Nation live Sunday night. For anybody locally who wants to come hang out and drink some uh, Drunk Donkey IPA, Sunday night at 8 o'clock, we'll be there doing our live supporter TV show for fun. So uh, tune in for that. That's coming up this Sunday, Tropical IPA, and uh, they have a special habanero one um, that uh, they only sell there. It's got a little kick. It's a little don drunk donkey with a kick. So, so anyway, that'd be fun. Yeah, Michelle, that'd be fun. Yeah. Hey, Jennifer, what's up? All right. So uh, let's see. What do I got to talk about today? We're just kind of catching up. Here's the tropics in a nutshell. There is a new little spot. The uh, the season to me is like really winding down quick. Um, yeah, we got the clocks returning back Sunday. We we gain an hour of sleep. That's good. All right, so we got a little wave down here. Let's talk about that. So your tropics map today, we got a new little yellow spot. Way down, five degree uh, is very low. It's a low rider. Um, these rare, <laughs> these rarely turn into anything, especially this time in the season. Uh, so it's just 10%. It's just a blob. Here, here you go. You can see it way out here on the satellite. This is a big blob of showers. It's only 10%. You can see we got these big fronts that come down. I mean, anything this time of year is either going to get A, sucked up into the middle Atlantic, or B, just not get going. It could bring a little tropical moisture to the um, Lesser Antilles in a few days. But as far as development goes, none of the models are really showing it. So that is on the a, uh, latest Atlantic outlook at 8 o'clock, 10%. No worries. The other thing we're watching is Rebecca. Rebecca is another... Azores storm. Now you notice I got the word right, right? Because you guys taught me how to say Azores. <laughs> I butchered that all all to hell a uh, few 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 months ago, actually. So, so here's Rebecca, uh, another odd little system. Uh, the third one of the year to affect the Azores. Uh, just going to be a s tropical storm. Winds are 45. It's pretty disorganized, but you know it's in the news. Um, so there's that. So that, you know, another name, R, <laughs> Rebecca. Here's a cool map. This is a, always a good one. You know what all that purple means? All that purple means freeze warnings. Look at this. Freeze warnings up. 
for almost freaking everybody in the middle middle u.s uh because our this is our first major cold front of the year um so there you go everybody purple's freeze warnings all this is going to make it to the panhandle tomorrow so tonight's going to be very chilly um unfortunately we're going to show you estimated radar real quick because that's the big storyline is we're going to have a huge area that's not going to get the trick or treat tonight uh unfortunately and we got severe weather uh shaping up here for the um east coast so in case you haven't heard we've been talking about this for the last few days um unfortunately everybody here along the the diagonal from the upper gulf to the northeast probably going to have trick or treat screwed up tonight florida peninsula is going to be okay it's going to be hot 80 81 82 degrees all around 85 um florida broke a lot of records for october for the hottest october ever including tampa bay it broke records yesterday so it's been the, the hottest october on record for most of florida and um that's hot all right so here's your storm chance today so uh, pretty serious threat here usually when you start getting into the yellows and, and oranges so north carolina into virginia and west virginia maryland pennsylvania you got you know this is all developing squall lines later today um, i'm gonna show you estimated radar but usually that's you know pretty serious threat uh five percent chance this big large area south carolina all the way up so these squall lines are going to be developing today that's the that's the big news today and let's take a look at some uh, estimated radar since i got everybody on here and then we'll Look at some other stuff. Uh, we'll look at the rapid refresh. See what it looks like. Uh, latest one, 12Z running now. All right, so here's here's your current squall line. This is right now. This is pretty pretty intense. We had a lot of tornadoes last night. Tornado warnings up in the Panhandle, along the Upper Gulf Coast. So again, tornado warnings last night. Um, yeah, we're gonna look at that, David. Right now, we're gonna look at the uh, timing. But uh, we we had a lot of um, tornado warnings that popped up and again we had no tornado watch so if you the theme of the season is you need to stay on top of the weather because you know we'll have these tornadoes pop up tornado warnings and, you, and if you didn't know that we had it coming it's a little a uh, little iffy but i'm not going to get into that soapbox so let's take a look at estimated radar through the night here's our squall line big low pressure to the north and this is going to pull up energy from the gulf and as we go hour by hour we'll take a look there's 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 there's noon one, two, three, four o'clock. So here's here's estimated around four o'clock. Most of the rains are clear from from the panhandle westward. Uh, there's our squall line setting up. This is four o'clock tonight. Pretty hefty duty squall line all the way up through the northeast. This is going to be the story maker. There's your timing. This is uh, seven o'clock tonight. Six, seven o'clock tonight. Trick or treat hours. I'm, I'm toggling it, but this this is your trick or treat hours right here. I'm just going to go back and forth. Five o'clock six seven eight nine right here so there's your window of people that probably need to make backup plans from south carolina northward um just no you know the timing is is always a little bit forward a little bit back but there's four five six seven eight nine o'clock uh so that's that's the big news we can look at supercell composites this has been pretty Pretty hefty show and development later in the afternoon. Storms developing uh, three o'clock on. Uh, pretty hefty storms actually right here towards um, seven o'clock tonight. Central Carolina's Virginia northward, um, and there is a another graphic showing possible tornado values, and we can see, you know, the highest concentration right here seven o'clock tonight. So this this is the threat. This is what we're watching. Um, and uh, hey what's up marie yes you got tornado warnings yesterday um quite a few actually in the panhandle we had these squall lines. let's take a look at radar real quick this is a pretty hefty duty squall line and i did get my coffee today look at that mike runs on duncan <laughs> duncan donuts our k k machine k cup is still not plugged in the kitchen is slowly back to normal but no no coffee uh you don't you don't realize when you don't have a kitchen uh hey the lights they're redoing the lights because we had a couple old fluorescent lights that were kind of old and one of them wasn't working right so we got lights coming in and uh you don't realize the lights from the kitchen if we don't have we don't have power outlets so we don't have kitchen lights so it's kind of dark 
Uh, but here, here's this, here's the current setup. It's got some pretty big rains right here going through Mobile and behind. So this is our, our squall line currently. This is a live look at radar. Pensacola, this is coming your way. Uh, Mobile's getting hammered pretty hard now, going through Biloxi, tailing through New Orleans, all the way up here through Birmingham, Knoxville, diagonal squall line all the way up to Cleveland. This is current current look. This is all pushing pushing uh, eastward. So that's the, that's the news. Um, and the uh, Hey Whitney, what's up? Yeah, I got it. We got it. We had four, but uh, one of them was having a hard time. The ballast was bad, but um. So there's that. Let's take a look at a couple things. All right. So let's. Sorry, everybody wants to know about the weekend. Let's go ahead and look at the weekend. The weekend should clear out real quick. We'll do you that. The weekend looks pretty darn good. Um, we'll do the whole U.S. because we got people tuning in from the whole U.S. Here is the um, basically the radar. This is going through tonight. Friday tomorrow, 7 a.m. Here, here's your Friday morning right here. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Eastern time. Look at that. Squall line pretty much gone. Uh, there you go. And by Friday at noon tomorrow, look at that. Almost nothing. Um, so there's that. Look at that. Beautiful weekend. Most Everybody that watches Mike's Weather page in the southeast could be a little bit of you know, afternoon type shower, Saturday rolling in, but look at that. It should be a nice, clear weekend for everybody as our system rolls out. This is, it's like a big cinnamon swirl. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> so again, our big story tonight, folks, uh, South Carolina, northward, middle South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, all the way up. Trick-or-treating, not looking good. It's going to be pretty dangerous out there for the kiddos, so. I'd be making indoor plans uh, for sure. I know Brad Panovich, I hope I just said his right right name. He's out of Charlotte. He's been trying to get everybody to do trick-or-treating tomorrow night. Not sure what local communities are figuring out. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, I've been following that, too. The uh, Reagan Library yesterday was big news for California fires. Luckily, the firefighters did an amazing job and uh, were able to keep that contained at least around that but uh, huge winds out out in california a lot of dry humidity and uh big winds dry you know dry uh, low humidity sparks sparks these fires unfortunately and it's always a story out there but um so there's that let's take a look at temperatures let's look at minimum temperatures people like minimum minimum here's tomorrow morning so there's our look at that. This is like a this is like an invasion. <laughs> you can see the you can see the cold front. Actually, let's another cool sight here. If you look at the windy map, you can always see the cold front uh, right here. I didn't look. I hope it's there. Yeah, there it is. Because I'd look like a fool. It wouldn't be the first time. But <laughs> here's the uh, there's the frontal boundary. You can see it awesome on the windy site. Um, that's your cold air dipping down meeting the low you know moisture that's why we get these thunderstorms kind of like a springtime pattern you get the dip and jet stream a lot of instability a lot of low level shear cold meets hot and uh you know you get the daytime heating the dry dry air and we get these thunderstorms pop so likely maybe tornado watch uh here throughout the day but that's what's going on now we're going to look at the cold weather here it is uh invading this is tonight this is going into tonight so by trick-or-treat hours all right so we've already figured out the rains from the panhandle west should be gone tonight so check this out so eight o'clock tonight uh seven o'clock central time we're talking 40s in alabama and mississippi down in the new orleans so you're going to be cold tonight cold 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 that fine line here you got 73 just a few miles to the east here in, in uh, lower Alabama. And then you got 40s, <laughs> like like 40 miles to the west. Um, so here you go. Here's the cold invading. This is tomorrow morning. Check this out. So tomorrow morning, everybody in Bama is 40s and 50s. Everybody in Mississippi, 40s and 50s. We got 50s already into Georgia. So tomorrow morning, um, you know, cold there's that cold weather it's going to bottom out thursday night look at that coldest air of the season holy moly we're talking 30s now in the lower alabama 
this is Friday morning, 7 a.m. Tomorrow morning, um, and I mentioned yesterday, I, the I-4 corridor, that rhymes, by the way, I-4 corridor, um, seems to be like the dividing line of who gets the cold or not, because it's really not going to make it past the I-4 south, um, and there it goes. So a couple cold days. 60s for Orlando, but look at that, man. We're talking 30s in the North Florida almost. This is Friday morning, so let's get a little more zoomed in here to the uh, southeast. And I hear Louis snoring. If you don't hear him already, he's snoring. Uh, here's 7 a.m. So this is tomorrow morning, about right there. It always is around 7, 8 in the morning. So we got freezing temperatures in in uh, Mississippi and. Alabama into Georgia. Look at that. 30s tonight. 32 in Atlanta tonight. It's going to be freezing. Huge cold front. Huge. And uh, 65 in Tampa. So not not really making its way down, but we got 50s in Gainesville, 40 in Tallahassee. Um, and another day, another round Saturday morning as it starts to warm back up. So, but, you know, you can kind of see the line. Look at this. This is pretty cool. You can really see the weather line right here. This is uh, tomorrow. You can kind of see it inch its way in. Saturday, Saturday temps aren't going to be too bad in Florida. I mean, a little bit of that front is going to make its way down, and we, we could see 70s and 80s um, max out for Florida. So you'll get a little bit of it. You're just not going to get a lot. So there you go. There's that. Uh, let's look at some long-term models real quick on Tropical Tidbits. Got to give Levi some love. Talked about this energy last weekend. There's a low pressure area right now in the middle Atlantic. Uh, here's that low pressure down in the Atlantic now. But this this is really nothing. You know, increased mid-level low pressure, possibly getting uh, northern into Lesser Antilles. This is midweek. This is actually uh, this weekend. Could be a little added rain, but nothing nothing really. It gets caught up in a front. Here's that low pressure down south, but nothing. So. That's good news. Um, you know, the time of the year, man, it's just slowly winding down. Waters are getting cool quick. Fronts are dipping down. Once these fronts start coming down, um, things really start to die. So let's take a look at uh, long-term Euro map. See if we see anything popping up. Probably not. Nothing. So could be over. Fat lady could be singing. <laughs> what's up michelle uh what am i wearing i don't know i, I got an old mask from from um, a couple years ago we set up out in the driveway and uh do a little do a, i'm gonna do the candy corn look at that i already made uh, i already made notes see candy corn challenge so phil if you're watching we got to eat candy corn uh pizza <laughs> Uh, what's up, Deb? Whitney, 0%. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reading. So here, here's what Sarah addressed. Let me show you real quick, just so uh, in case you haven't seen. Sarah was a little zombie. I dressed her up. I hope she didn't get in trouble today. Um, there she is. This is Sarah. This is Sarah dressed up last week in her zombie costume. So I, I dressed her today in her zombie shirt with the blood on it. So let's hope that uh, the school doesn't send her home. Because <laughs> it is kind of gorish. And I do want to say big thanks to Roadkill T-Shirts for hooking our team up. Uh, Roadkill T-Shirts, great guy, Michael. And uh, he, he sent us these shirts down because he knew I was in a bind and Got the girls looking all scary. So there's that. Uh, what else we got? Really nothing. It's cold weather. Season winding down. Big news today. Obviously, we're watching the storm threat for later this afternoon. Here's your um, excessive rain outlook today. Big rains coming. Possible flooding in the yellow areas. So that's kind of news. So you got big rains coming for sure. Uh, your 24-hour rain forecast, pretty hefty. Tennessee line northward. It's 24-hour rains. But most of Pennsylvania, look at this. Most of Pennsylvania getting soaked tonight. This is possibly uh, one inches plus. So, there, you know, a lot of rain. Pretty pretty big. You know, the mountains in the uh, West Virginia area, Maryland, you guys will get flash flooding, no doubt. 
some of the areas that are probably pretty dry. So uh, that'll be something to watch today going into tonight. That's our 24-hour rain map. Um, there you go. What else is good? Uh, thanks, guys. Yeah, she was cute. Yep, Whitney, stay, stay safe. Um, did a little funny video today with uh, Louie. I should play it, but maybe not. <laughs> um, yeah, we gotta, we'll bring Louie. Let's bring Louie up. Louie. Louie's uh, got tons of Halloween costumes. I don't know what we're going to dress him up like tonight. Maybe, maybe we'll make Louie like a, like a model and change his uh, outfit every hour. He's got a rocker outfit. He's got, um, he's got the new um, Chucky, Chucky outfit. Can you wave? I'm trying to teach him to wave. So. so there's our boy. He says, Happy Halloween, right? Happy Halloween, everybody. Thanks for watching Mike's weather page this year. Things are winding down. Hope you guys still remember me. Don't, 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 don't forget to look for normal weather too. <laughs> I'm always here. <clears throat> so there's, there's our boy. Say hi, say hi, Louis. Show me your pretty eyes. Show me your pretty eyes. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> He's a good kid. Good kid. So let's uh, let's look at Hurricane Louis on. Uh, Instagram real quick. We'll show you some of his Halloween costumes. And then we'll uh, maybe we'll start a page for people to post their um, Halloween costumes tonight. So, let's see. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can make these bigger or not. Yeah, there you go. There, there was Louie at the pumpkin thing the other day. It put you all in the spirit. Took Louie to his pumpkin patch. Uh, there you go. All right. So, there's one of them. <laughs> there's one of Louie's costumes. He runs around with a knife in his hand. <laughs> there's one of them. Uh, let's see. There's his winter costume. We probably won't dress him up in that. He didn't like that one very much. Um, this is Hurricane Louie on Instagram, by the way, if you want to check him out. Oh, they're making me log in to um, continue. What's up with that? Instagram. Uh, let's see. So last year's costume. Ah, man, they're making me log in. Darn it. I don't even remember. I don't even remember my password. Is that it? Ah, unusual login. Okay. So they're going to text me now. They're going to send me my code. So let me get my code. Oh, God. Okay. So now I got to read it. 175490. Instagram. Instagram is something that, uh, you know, it's there. All right. So there we go. Now, now I'm in. So I want to show you last year's Halloween costume because it was classic. It was, let's see, where the heck was he? Let's see, where, what was he last year? There was Minnie Mouse. There's Louie's Minnie Mouse. <laughs> I don't think you like that one either. Louie's boy. Oh, there we go. There's last year's. All right, so there's last year's costume. What's up, Whitney? See you, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. See you Sunday night for the candy corn challenge. So we'll have fun. So if you're local, come on and see us, me and Phil. We'll be, um, yeah, what's up with the passwords, Michelle, right? I mean, come on. I mean, as, and, and the older you get, it's like a big freaking blur, right? I mean, everything is, and then they make you change your password, right? So then you got, I mean, I got a password sheet somewhere here that I got, like, let me see if I can find it, because I don't even want to lose it. I got notes and passwords and Oh yeah, here's one of them. I don't. I probably shouldn't show it because somebody, somebody might cyber me. But there you go. There you go. You kind of see it. I got a million. I do it upside down, twisted. You can't read it. But everyone's different. And then they come back and they say to you, "Oh, you can't use the password you used in the last six months." I'm like, "Well, pff, that 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 sucks." Because <laughs> I, you know. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. I do rich. Yep. Yep. Um, Don, I've heard of that. I might try it for sure. So, yep, yeah, Matthew. I don't know, man. It's just uh, old school, man. Old school. Last Pass. Huh? I'll have to check that out. What is Last Pass? I never. I heard of it. I never even went to their website. Last Pass is your number one password. Eh, that's cool. 
Yeah, maybe I'll check it out. Because I'm telling you what, man. The older you get, it's just impossible. It's ridiculous. All right, so yeah, fire. Hey, what's up, Ken Higby, my old racing buddy? You, um... What else we got funny we can talk about? I don't know. I had a kid's thing. This was cute. I was watching this earlier before I went live. We can leave this on while we chit-chat. So we got a Halloween. Uh, I bought two clowns from the, the Spirit Halloween that I'm putting up tonight. So if, if you're around the neighborhood, come on by. That's what we do to Sarah. At least we have no rain today, so we can actually. <laughs> you didn't even have to press it. <laughs> ah, you gotta love it, man. Unfortunately, my thir <laughs> unfortunately my thirteen year old is. Uh, I think she's she's out of the the Halloween thing. So that sucks. But anyway, all right, guys. Well, let's see what else we got. Um, weather, 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 weather. Um, there's really nothing. Not the tropics, that's good news. Uh, water is still a little warm, but these fronts create tremendous shear in the atmosphere. Uh, things will get shredded quick. Uh, ironically, did, we did talk about this pattern. Um, this moisture that was ahead of our front was a Caribbean wave that we talked about last week. This is like the third weekend in a third week in a row almost six to seven days uh you could mark it um this caribbean wave came up and uh, got pulled into this week's front last night tornado warnings it, it, it wasn't as intense as olga and the blob the friday night before that got into florida but we had pretty much the last three weeks we've had the exact same pattern of a tropical wave getting sucked up into a, a midweek front and then putting all this moisture up into the upper Gulf. So, um, and we might get it again with this little guy. This is that tropical wave. This one, this one will be more than a week out though. This might be two weeks down the road. This is that mid-level juice I was showing yesterday. This is kind of dr slowly drifting its way. Might clip in Puerto Rico, maybe give a little rains, uh, maybe e Eastern Bahamas, but, um, nothing to worry about so so anyway uh what's up don uh there we go got some good good tricks hee-haw remember hee-haw <laughs> what's hee-haw remember hee-haw let's, let's let's see if we can find a video clip of hee-haw um I used to watch it. Seemingly impossible. We once again present the continuing story. I watched Deuce of Hazards. Of country he preferred. Well, snow is falling soft. <laughs> I remember that. Sort County. of. I and was young. Your cousin Junior say. A dynamite truck just pulled up outside. Wonder why. Oh, well. What, what do you think about Grandpa? Well, I'd give anything to be without money problem. What would you give, Grandpa? Oh, a million dollars. I'd give my right arm to be a major league pitcher. That's silly. We're all silly. We are not. Crazy times. Anyway. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, y'all. Hey, it's cool. I can ramble all day long. But uh, but anyway, so long-range temps. Greg, what's up? Um, we can look at some long-range temps. The... Um, uh, let's see what what did I? I've been reading a little bit. Uh, they're expecting a little bit warmer, maybe. This is uh, temperature anomalies. Um, let's see, uh, three month average. We'll just look at this. All right, so here here is um, here's your November temps anomalies, pretty much. A little warmer than normal in the peninsula. A little cooler up north. Um, and here's December. This is what I was reading earlier. Your December anomalies, um, warmer than average. It's just one model, but could indicate December will be a little warmer than normal. This is the uh, this tropical tidbits. Uh, and then January, warmer than normal. February, warmer than normal. March, warmer than normal. 
April. What's up with that? We don't have any. We don't have anything. We don't. <laughs> it's not giving us anything. I, I don't know if I buy that, but um, <laughs> if that's the case, it won't be a record winter. It'll just be. This is just based on um, the last. Well, according here, it's the last uh, 25 years. Um, so there's possibility for that. Uh, monthly, let's take a look at monthly, or uh, well, we don't want to do weekly. But, eh, you know. Here is, um, these are weekly, weekly temps. Huh? Well, pretty, I mean, it's pretty confident. Could be looking at through December at least uh, warmer. You know, this could be the. I mean, according to this, this is like the only cold front coming. Which, if that if this verifies, you better enjoy it. But I don't know. See, it seems kind of odd that we would have a massive cold front right now and then um, not not another one for the next two months. <laughs> seems odd, but hey, weather's been odd this year. Let's take a look. Uh, just for fun, we'll look at uh, GFS, see, see what it shows long, long range here. 10 days anyway. Huh. Yeah, you gotta remember that's normal, so. A tick warmer than normal. It doesn't mean it's gonna be cold, that, 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 or that doesn't mean it's gonna be hot, that's just your anomaly map. So if it averages, you know, if your average is 50 degrees, that might say, hey, it's going to be 55 degrees. It's not going to be like a major warm up. Um, hey, uh, Ocracoke Island. Yeah, that was um, big damage. We were watching that with um, when Dorian was rolling through and they had some pretty serious storm surge. Wasn't talked about a lot. Obviously, the main focus was in the Bahamas, but um, the let's see oh, here. This is this is um, damage. This is channel. Oh, I gotta go at it. What the heck? I gotta turn off my ad blocker. Jeez and crackers. I hate these when they do that. All right, let's try it again. Uh, this is chan This is W R A L dot com. This is showing you some of the damage, and then we got an advertisement. Jeez, what the heck's up with that? Not only, not only do you have a pop up, you got a ten second ad you got to go through. Uh oh, Julie just said I should check insurance company about what? What water damage? Oh yeah, I guess we had to get our bay window worked on because the. Uh, Thing had water damage. Problem is with insurance is the damage only costs eighteen hundred and and the deductible is a thousand. So, what you really don't win anything. Then your premiums go up. And then you got then you get canceled. This is just some of the damage videos, anyways. Cheese and crackers on the bingo board, Don. I don't know. I didn't say girth yet, and I didn't say moist. I did. I said moist on our podcast last night. Made a big joke about it with Tim. We talked about moist. How you guys love that word. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to find some uh, Dorian Dorian um, school damaged. Hmm. Apparently, one of our Lao ads. What these stupid websites, man! I tell you what, Jesus. Then they want to. Then they want to track your cookies, and then they want to put an ad on your site. Oh my God! All right. So this is um one of the schools here. Let's see. I don't know which school it is, but anyway. All right. What are we doing? Uh, bingo. <laughs> well, we'll have fun next year, no doubt. Coneheads. Uh, what I've learned over the years is. Everybody gets all worked up, and then by this time of the year, nobody wants to talk weather anymore. It's like everybody's exhausted from um, hurricane tracking. 
and uh, get on with holidays and Halloween and Thanksgiving. And here you go. This is some crazy footage. This was a uh, Hyde County Sheriff Department video. I don't know why I don't have volume here. Here we go, volume. The waves, the first wave coming. Here we go. This is this is some Ogre Coke damage, North Carolina on the Outer Banks. And there's more hurricanes, not just here, but all over. More hurricanes with and, and more with a higher intensity. I have so many come by us, and we just keep dodging them. I keep saying, I said, guys, one of these days, come get us. And everything was going so well. We had a little bit of the eye come over us, and, and that little bit of the eye came and calmed down. And when that passed by us, I was standing looking out the window over here, and I could see the waves, the first wave coming at me. After what he'd done in the Bahamas and all that, uh, just too powerful. They had that surge water in it, and I've heard it all on the news down in the Bahamas. That surge, surge, big surge, and that's why got us. We've never experienced that before. This season wow. is done with. So much needs to be done. That was over Coke Island. The, the response has been incredible. It's a long video, but you know, sometimes we forget about areas like that that were hit when Dorian took all the news, obviously, for the Bahamas, but uh, they got hit pretty hard. So, uh, and, and unfortunately, still up in the uh, panhandle, there's still a lot of people reporting uh, Michael damage has not even been um, touched yet, so. Hurricanes last a lot longer than the news sometimes shows, that's for sure. But, um, all right, well, let's see what's cooking. Nothing else really to worry about. We're going to watch this weather develop today. I'll, uh, I'll make sure, you know, watches and warnings are in effect. There's nothing right now, but when, once they go in effect, I'll post them. Just be aware if you're in this area, the timing tonight, uh, definitely a squall line setting up South Carolina north, northward could be pretty strong. Uh, so trick or treat, anybody South Carolina northward probably needs to really watch the weather tonight. Um, spread the word. We don't want no kids out there getting hurt. Here's the current look at radar. And that line is inching in towards Pensacola. Let's see if we can find a Pensacola um, webcam. Because I'm sure you can see it coming and let's see south view of Pensacola Beach east view we want to go west view I don't know if we can go west let's see no nope, that one's not live here we go Pensacola Beach let's see if this one's live this one looks pretty pretty accurate Pensacola Beach there we go yeah it's spinning around a little bit you can see the storm clouds rolling in. All right, we'll just leave it here. This is Pensacola. What's up, Erica? Hey, thank you. Hey, thanks, Jen. What's up, Don? Appreciate all you supporters. Um, we gained a lot, you know, over the last uh, few months. Um, trying to do a little bit more. We're going to do the, uh, some more stuff with our TV show and um, discounts. And uh, basically, you're just you're tipping your bartender, <laughs> but it means a lot. It means I can sit here on the computer and uh, work more on weather than other things sometimes because it is very time-consuming tracking the tropics. Let me tell you what. During Dorian, I, I I added up all the hours. I kept my little cheat sheet here. It was thirty-seven hours that I was live, all my live video feeds, I, I wrote down every one, and during Dorian, we were, we were Facebook Live for 37 hours of coverage, and it wasn't the first year, we did it during Matthew, we did it during Florence, we did it during Harvey, and Irma, and countless other storms, so, uh, you know, it's nothing new, so, what's up, David? 
What's going on? There's uh, Pensacola. Why isn't this camera working? Webcams stink. Sometimes they just don't work. Here we go. Here's a west view. Let's see what this one looks like. This is looking west. You can, there you go. There's our storms. Way over yonder. Coming. Coming for you. They're right there. We can watch this thing roll in. Big storms are coming. Let's see if anybody's on the beach. Nope. There's a same old camera. Look at those clouds, though. Pretty, pretty impressive cloud tops coming in off of the Gulf. This is uh, Pensacola Beach. Uh, hey, thanks, Pat. The tip, yeah. Hey, it's cool. It's five bucks. Four, four ninety nine. I got a, one drink the other day at uh, uh, Chili's, and I tipped four bucks, and I was laughing. I'm like, hey, yeah, I just bought me a monthly subscription to Mike's Weather page, and I don't even know this person. <laughs> I pissed somebody off one time, and they, they were like, I'm going to take that money away. I'm like, when you, when, you, when you tip somebody you don't even know, at least you know me. You might not like it, but... Um, anyway, so let's look at one last thing here. I want to look at the IR map here on weathernerds.org. We always like to look at this. This kind of gives you an idea. Kind of, kind of, hey, look at that. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty feisty. We had tornado warnings yesterday. That's current look, convection, upper infrared satellite. Um, so it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty intense. You know, we get some, some big, big cloud tops definitely bubbling here. Um, so I suspect it's going to be pretty rough here in Pensacola pretty soon. Look at that. There's our, there's our front. This is a daylight -ish, uh, imagery coming in. There's our cloud tops in front. So it's going to be, it's going to be a uh, stormy day, I'm afraid, um, for pretty much anybody in front of this line today. So no, I won't, Marion. I won't. Nope, nope, nope. We will always be live. It just might not be every day. Maybe we'll get into a pattern of like twice a week or something. Hey, Michelle, how are the winds looking? Hmm. Well, they're going to be windy. Um, ahead of our front, no doubt, from South Carolina northward. Let's see, we can take a look at some winds and projections here. Um, wind gusts, this is just the Euro. They're all a little different, but there's our front. There's our big winds coming in behind. Uh, actually, let's take a look at those live look because behind, when you, when you get a massive cold front coming down, you get crazy winds behind it because all that cold air is rushing in from the north. So behind these fronts, we get extremely windy conditions um, behind the front. And there you go. There's Texas. Look at this. Um, you know, South Texas. Look at this. 50 mile an hour gust, sustained winds, 36 right now. This is all along the Texas coast here, South Texas. So, that, you know, 20, 30 mile an hour sustained winds already in uh blowing out of the northwest as our cold front comes down uh and you can see her here on the windy map but tonight you know there there, there you go i mean here we go this, this is this is estimated winds um florida not that big a deal but there you go south carolina north wind gusts are gonna be pretty incredible this is ahead of our front tonight eight o'clock we could have wind gust um 62 miles an hour now the euro this is upper elevation too uh so it's tricky because these are these are higher mountain tops, um, but still, you know, 50 mile. I mean, we got you know 50 mile an hour wind gusts, possibly Charlotte. These are gusts. I mean, sometimes they say the year overdoes it. I might have been showing the year a little too much this year with winds. Um, one thing we might have learned. Well, the, the GFS showing kind of the same thing. 33 mile an hour wind gusts. Um, so pretty feisty i mean you know even the even the gfs showing you know 40 50 you know maryland pretty much everybody along the atlantic coast here atlantic city northward i mean atlantic city 49 this this is pretty 
you know, South Carolina northward, we're going to have some pretty, pretty windy night. This is, um, this is developing tonight, 3 o'clock. We go into tonight. There's your GFS showing uh, 46, 60 mile an hour wind gusts Atlantic City coming in. So we got big wind, uh, big wind event tonight for sure. Definitely. Yeah, I love the T Rex. <laughs> T Rex Halloween costume is the best. Something about a dinosaur running around. Um, this is crazy. So here's a compilation of uh, T-Rex. <laughs> here's T-Rex weightlifting. <laughs> here's T-Rex um, shoveling snow. Here's T-Rex riding a motorcycle. Here's T-Rex doing um, Ninja Warriors. Here's a bunch of T-Rexes. Um. <laughs> hey, winds in Connecticut. All right. So listen, everybody in the Northeast tonight, um, starting this afternoon, we're gonna we're gonna get. Let's see if I get some wind alerts or something. We got. There are gonna be some high wind warnings in effect. There's no doubt. We already got gale. Look at this. We got gale warnings already in the waters here. So this this good good point. Whoever brought that out about the winds. These are gale warnings northeast, uh, southern coast here. These are um, coastal winds. We're gonna have gale gale conditions, gale warnings in effect all along Texas, and Louisiana coast. Now these winds are gonna be blowing out of the northwest, so it won't be hitting the coast as much. Um, but up here. We're going to have winds blowing in from the south, so we're definitely going to see some effects here from Outer Banks northward with our winds tonight. So, so interesting. Big weather day. Big weather day. We'll watch it together. Right, right, right. So, cool. All right. Well, I'll post uh, my Halloween picks tonight. And uh, we'll have some fun with the kiddos. Hope you guys have a great Halloween. Um, feel free to share any photos that you want. Hopefully uh, the, the, the rains don't spoil everybody's plans. If you're north of I-4, tomorrow morning we will uh, we'll do a weather update on how cold it is. Because we're going to have 30s all the way down to the upper Gulf Coast tonight. Hey, Joanne. We did show Louie. I'll show him again. Because he's been crying down here. He gets mad at me. He likes to sit on my lap when I work. So, there's Louie. Guess what, Louie? It's almost time to lay on my lap. <laughs> so, there's Jen. Hey, you know what? I got crackers here I can give him. He doesn't even know I have a bag of crackers. I can trick him. You want to see Louis, Louis get perked up? Watch this. Well, we can make Louis fall asleep first. But when, when I when I grab the cracker bag, watch what happens. Oh boy, Louis knows it. Louis knows it. Louis knows. This is my trick I show on TV or on our little Facebook. He's looking sideways. <laughs> he won't grab it. You watch. This is incredible. Now, if I get a bloody lip, it's going to be a great Halloween costume. All right, Louie, all right, let's get in front of the camera now. Let's make sure I'm in the camera. All right, Louie, no. I'm going to touch his nose with it now. This is so good. Oh. <laughs> no. That scared me. <laughs> I know one of these days he's going to bite me. <laughs> Haven't done it in a while. He's a good boy. I think I made his nose itch. Nobody likes your nose tickled with a cracker. <laughs> All right. We'll be good, y'all. Have a great Halloween. I apologize for not being live the last few days, but, hey, we didn't have much weather. So we'll figure out a time schedule during the winter. Maybe we'll do, like, a couple a week. Um, we'll definitely be doing our Drunk Donkey Nation TV show for our fans. And I'll be uploading them to YouTube. Um... Don't forget, I got uh, 
coffee cups. I just remembered I, I should be pumping those up. There's our uh, Louis. I need my Louis in the morning. That was your. That segment was sponsored by Louis. Louis in the morning coffee. <laughs> so you can get your Louis cup. And uh, all the other goody stuff. So I, I, I'll uh, upload our segment here to YouTube. Um, there's our Drunk Donkey Nation live last week. We had it, it worked pretty good. We got a couple of new things we're going to do Sunday night. There's Phil. That's my new sidekick. There's our beard. So it's pretty casual, laid back. So I asked some of our supporters to submit photos from Sandy. We're going to. Hopefully do a Skype interview, um, and it'll evolve a little better each show. So, um, so if you're if you're around Sunday night, come check us out at eight o'clock. We'll be hanging out doing our little little fun show here at the Trouble Waters Brewery. So, all right, well you all be good. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in as always, and uh, be safe tonight. Don't eat too much candy. Bye.